Who's ready for another Highlands Ranch property tour? This place is awesome. We're gonna go check this place out right here in Hillcrest, which is a subsection of Highlands Ranch. Uh, a little more of a, uh, on the luxury side of things, a lot of semi-custom homes in here. Um, this one has 3,600 square feet above grade, plus another 1,800 in the basement, about 1,100 is finished there. And it is a six bedroom, four bath, uh, 1995 built. So follow me, let's go check it out. All right, let's go. I want to thank Jeremy and Lauren Wasleben for letting me in. They're the listing agents on this beautiful home. And uh, so I get to tour this one with you guys today. And again, this is in Hillcrest. You got a lifetime roof, stone coated steel, amazing. And this is what the neighborhood looks like. All similar type homes. Got this wall up front, this, this little private area in the front yard, kind of unique. And I love this Denver red brick. Gorgeous. All right, so welcome to Updates Galore. Uh, new carpet, you got your wrought iron spindles. All right, these floors are sick, I love these. Um, it's got like really cool wood grain in it. I don't know if it's a hickory or something like that, but really cool floors. Plantation shutters everywhere. There are hundreds of thousands of updates in this home. Um, coming in here, you've got this like desk space for like homework stations or secondary office space. Crown molding up top. Again, everywhere you look, it's like eye candy. This gorgeous quartz, um, nice big kitchen. Look at this, double oven, GE profile. Who would not want to cook in this kitchen? Backsplash is awesome. Give you a full 360 on this thing. Cooktop, this might be induction. Yeah, it is. It's induction. See? Proof right there. Um, and Gen Air, you got the old French door fridge, which is awesome. They painted these cabinets, it looks like. 42 inch cabinets, lots of space. Walk in pantry. Boom. Lots of space in there bigger than you think. And then this one, another little desk space. So you could have lots of kids that need to do homework in this house and be just fine. Um, love this great room area with this big interior brick wall. So cool. And then you got skylights up there, if you can see that. And more plantation shutters everywhere. These cool half moon windows too, to add a little character. Let's step outside. All right, we got nice patio out here with incredible yard space. Holy cow, this just keeps going. 0.39 acres. So you got lots of space to throw a ball around. You could even throw a pool over here if you wanted to and then have all this green space still. So 1.5 million seems like a pretty good deal to me. Nice house. Um, this one's been on the market for 16 days as of now. Um, today is 28th of March. March Madness, baby. All right. Let's go check out the upstairs. Okay. Got six bedrooms, four bathrooms, like I mentioned before. And we'll go check out this side. Sorry, I skipped this side of the main floor. Nice laundry room area. Oh, we got a sink. Yes, wash the dog there. You got really high ceilings and nice garage space. This is an extended long garage, like probably 24, 25 feet is my guess. And they're Broncos fans. Nice little half bath here. Love it when you have some fun in the bathrooms with tile. So cool. Just got a shower down here. And then you've got this space, which could work as a private office area or a bedroom. You got these built-in shelves. And that's a Murphy bed, ladies and gentlemen. Super trendy, fun idea to create bed space, but not have it down so you have all this room. It can act as a study or a bedroom. Love it. Look at this carpet. These people have some serious style. Really like their, their taste. Uh, coat closet just off the front door, and then this is kind of how 
the whole floor plan flows. Love this twisted staircase. Super cool. And then you got this little loft area to look down. Oh yeah. Sconce lights. Oh, they put candles in there. That's kind of cool. All right, recess cans here. And we've got a full bath with a tub off of these three bedrooms on this side. Okay, this room has a bathroom attached to it as well, ensuite. And it's just got a shower, so three quarter bath. And then we've got two more bedrooms. Look at the size of these bedrooms. I know I'm on wide angle here, guys, but this is like really good space. Love it. Slider closets. Okay, and again, even in secondary bedrooms, plantation shutters, they really did not spare any expense on this place. Some good mountain views out this way too, if you can see that off in the distance. And then going into the primary bedroom here, whoops, that's me. Check this out. Wow, lots of space. Got room for the Peloton, vaulted ceilings in here. Yeah, and check this out. These uh, elongated tiles, really in style right now. Everything light and bright. Quartz counters in here too that match the kitchen. Okay. Some cool lighting, built in bathtub, jetted tub, plantations to give you some privacy with the seamless glass shower with the rain tree head. Love it. Wide open, you don't see French doors on a, well, the size of French doors, there's no doors, but wide open, like two door wide uh, closet like that. That's pretty sweet. And then your private toilet area, it has a door. Some people like that. Uh, mini fridge in the primary bath. Gotta love it. All right, let's go check out the downstairs basement. Uh, there's a huge unfinished area as a basement down here that I'll show you. Um, that is just for cold storage, which a lot, of, a lot of people and families need nowadays. So I think you'll like that. Also, it's got a good area that is finished. And again, the same carpet all throughout. Look at the wet bar with more quartz. Style everywhere, you guys. This is awesome. Uh, sweet little uh, fridge here. It's kind of fun for the basement. Got some shelving around this mini bar. And then look at this open rec space. Slash theater room, slash entertainment room. Whatever you want to call it these days. And always room for ping pong. You always have to create that space. It's so important. Egress windows. Shuffleboard action, love it. We were just on a trip where we got to play some shuffleboard. It was so much fun. So see all that space. I'll show you the other side so you see better. But this is the downstairs bathroom. And this is just a huge shower, humongous, super cool. All right, show this door. I'll show you the other side so you can see all the space down here okay this is like a little playroom it's got closets and a window though so if you close this off it could easily be a sixth bed or seventh bedroom but they don't need it that's probably why they didn't close it off and all the space uh nine foot ceilings down here you guys so it's really spacious even though it's not a walkout you have tons of headroom and light and this wraps around all the way over here. This home was built in 1995. They've definitely replaced the furnace since then. That's not an original furnace. Um, so overall, just awesome home. If you're looking for a place that's like, um, you know, nice home, great schools, but you don't want to do a bunch of updating on the house, look no further. This place is awesome. And again, 9166 Cromwell Lane, Highlands Ranch, right here in the Hillcrest subsection of Highlands Ranch. And Highlands Ranch, you guys, is like, as I'm hitting the lights, I'll just tell you, it's like uh, about 20, 
25 minutes south of downtown. And from this spot, you can take I-25 or Santa Fe to get downtown. It just shoots you right down there and uh, gives you access to Coors Field, Ball Arena, the Denver Center of Performing Arts with the Buell Theater. Uh, you can shoot around C-470 and hit Red Rocks, which is a big destination if you're coming from outside of Colorado. Really fun spot to see a concert, known nationwide, worldwide. Um, and then, you know, right around here in Highlands Ranch, you've got the four rec centers um, that you got access to, 26 parks, 18 miles of interconnected trail system. And uh, it is a great place to live. Um, really, like, uh, kind of health-based, you know? Like, if you're looking for a community where there's bike paths everywhere, Lots of areas to get outdoors and enjoy the 300 plus days a year with Colorado sunshine. Great way to do it. So hope you've enjoyed the tour today. Thank you so much for joining me. And uh, remember to click subscribe if you've had as much fun as I have today. And uh, that way you'll get access to more of these property tours. So you can check out more awesome homes like this one in the South Metro Denver area uh, or right here in Highlands Ranch. Thanks, I'll see you on the next one.